Hey, so welcome back <laughs> to my uh, uh, YouTube channel. I know two videos in two days. Um, I would love to upload more, but I do work during the week. I do work a nine to five Monday through Friday. So it is very difficult to film during the week because my days are so long. And by the time I get home, I'm just exhausted. And I really don't feel like doing much of anything, but I am trying to be, stay true to my word and upload more. For those of you who come to my channel and like my content, <laughs> I am really working on getting more videos out there. Okay, so the product I'm going to be reviewing today is the Iman. Um, luxury, luxury radiance liquid foundation and I am an NC 45 ish in Mac <laughs> um, and I got the shade clay 2 now for those of you who are at NC 45 you know always you could please leave your recommendations in the um, comment section if you've tried this product um, you can tell me what you think of this product and what shade works uh, which which shade matches best for you so the video that follows will be me uh, trying out this particular product. Now, I didn't actually capture this on film, but I did also try out the Maybelline Superstay 24. And I will say that this product actually made me look ashy. So I actually ended up having to go over it slightly with the more foundation to kind of um, correct it because yeah, this foundation, I don't know if it's because of the combination, but this particular, sh or the shade itself, because this is deep beige, it did make me come up, come off of kind of ashy um, on camera. So, yeah, I'm not saying this is a bad product. I'm just saying that this is e either this isn't my shade or these two products just don't don't mesh. As my mother would say, this just doesn't mesh well. So, uh, stay tuned. The video that follows will be me trying out this product and giving my um uh, view um re review on the product. So, thanks. Okay, so um, I'm done with the application and I've actually <laughs> uh, forgot to fill in my eyebrows, so I did that off camera. But um, yeah, it's, um, I will say that it has an interesting texture. Um, it it's, uh, has a thick consistency. It does um, have great coverage, I will say that. Um, another thing that I noticed is that it dries. <laughs> extremely quickly at least for me I mean I, again I haven't seen any reviews on this product even though I know there are plenty of reviews on um, YouTube regarding this product but I haven't actually watched any um, so at least from my point of view it dries pretty quickly so you really have to apply it and kind of blend stipple it or you know get use your sponge whatever tool you, um, you use to apply your foundation and really work it in now from what I can see it actually matches pretty damn good. Um, it may, it's to me, it looks kind of slightly off, but it's not, it's not to the point where I can't work with it. So, um, I actually, <laughs> I actually like the product. Um, I've, obviously, I'm going to continue to use it, and um, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, purchase. I'm probably gonna go back and look at um, some other shades to see if I'm. I can, uh, I'm going to try out some more shades and probably try to mix a few to see if I can get the perfect color. But from what I can tell, it matches pretty damn, pretty damn good. Um, so again, of course, leave your suggestions and comments in the comment section. Um, you can tell me if you've used Iman products, um, their foundation, um, how the foundation worked for you. Um, again, I am an NC45 in MAC, 
so I'm always looking for foundation um, recommendations because for me it seems at least to me it seems like it's very difficult for me to find a foundation that really matches my skin tone I think I'm like seven tone you know like most people are like two tone I think I'm like I, I don't know it's for, for me it to, to me it always seems like the foundation is slightly off so thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later bye